Hello everyone, today we are going to learn basic concept tutorials how to create 3D hinge. Click sketch and I will use a front plan. Go to front view. The next we create circle in it with diameter 12. Create again circle with diameter 7. Use lens tools to create lines start from this point. Move to the left. For length set into 50. And then move to the top. 2,5 click cut this point to stream command to cut the circle object click ok now to convert into 3d we can use extra tool select cut this uh, point and then you can set for dips like into 100 press enter to apply click ok now the next i will mirror this object then uh, click cut this uh, mirror tools select a uh, part one for entities uh, object and for mirror plan we select at uh, this face click new and then click ok now i will move this object you can select part two use uh, this tools transforms and we set for this into distance for direction click at uh, this line object and then we can move this arrow into this point Click OK to apply. Select at this space and we create new sketch. Go to top plane. In here we draw rectangle. Start from this point into here. Draw again from this point into here. Next in the center point. Use a vertical constraint to set this point into here vertical. Also in here to vertical. And then for distance, this line object 20, also in it 20, from this point into here 20, and the next in it we set into 20. Now you can set again, like from uh, this point, here yeah, we we'll set into 22. And the next distance from this uh, point into here, set into se 7. Click OK to apply. Now we can use uh, extra tools to cut this object by using this set. You can click extrude, select uh, these entities, and select two entities next use symmetric and then use stream of tools click ok to apply so it will be automatically cut the object we also can select cut this space we create new step go to top plane and in here we draw rectangle again from this point into here from this point into here the next set for dimension in here 20 also at this point to here set a 20 here 20 and the next at this point 20 this time from this point into middle point we set into 7 we also can set for this vertical constraint between these two points and the next we can click OK. Now we can use uh, extra tools again. Select at uh, this plan. Symmetric and then click remove. Click OK to apply. So we have these two objects. Now to create holes like you can select at this space. Go to top view and click step. We draw for circle in here. I will draw one, two, three, and four. For diameter, we set into ten. I will use this equal constraint to set equal between two circle, the init, and the next at the circle. For this ten, okay, from this point into this counterpoint, we set this ten 
in it into 12,5 then again from this point into here 17,5 also same in it 17,5 then in it we set into 12,5 we can set for horizontal uh, vertical constraint between two points then for distance in it I will set into 37,5 and between these two points 25 okay you can see this uh, you do then between constraint so you can select constraint and press delete button like this to be automatically solve the problems after it you can set again for this time from this point into here in here we set into 9,5 then click ok now use this extra tools go to this circle object and then use a remote click ok to apply so it will be create for hole and the other we cut again at this face instead we draw circle in here for circle and make equal between the circle the next we set for radius or diameter into 10 and then we set into vertical constraint between the circle also in here next we set for distance between these two circle 25 okay from this counter point we set into 9,5 and this circle set into 17,5 okay that's it and the next from this point into here can set 12,5 also for the circle object here we set 70 5 sorry 12,5 and then this time from this point into here set into 25 click ok now use extra tools again select a circle object and then go to remove click ok so that's it for basic concept tutorials how to create a simple hinge and if you have any question about this tutorial you can comment below this video